Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, today's shout out is for Roger O'Connor. He hails out of um, New Jersey. Um, he's got a shop and he's got a one or two videos up now. He uh, did a video of his tractors and so forth. Um, he's a big supporter of the Horde and I appreciate that. But go take a look at his channel and uh, you know maybe we could get him to make some more uh, videos. He does a lot of the same stuff. Um, well, same stuff. He does similar stuff to what I do. He, uh, he'd he be a really great addition to the, um, to the um, YouTube, what do you guys, YouTube garage gang. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's go bother him and maybe we could get him to make some videos. I just wanted to uh, slam up a, another video and you guys are going to get completely sick of LED lights. Um, but what I did is I was at Sam's Club, right? And Lights of America has this light out. And if you um, take a look here, I think you could see that. It was $36.98. So 37 bucks compared to 39.95, which gets you that one. Um, here it is, all lit up, um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the volume up on this pig, and... So, and you can hear that there's no, no static, um, which is... What happened to me? What I did is th this. This is a, a typical um, uh, fixture, and I just put four foot fl fluorescent tubes into it. And the the problem I ran into is um, it's very causes a lot of interference on my radio, and I'll show you that. You guys hear that? I gotta turn it off quick. I don't want YouTube getting all cranky with me. So, um, from a light point of view, it's, um, the light is, I don't know what's it called. I, I think it's called white. I actually kind of prefer the light that, um, that was coming out of this. This was a um, warm, and that's kind of a bright. Once again, very much like like that guy. The LED lights are really, really good because you save some power. The other thing is like that light right there. It's a fluorescent, and once it warms up, you get some pretty good light out of it. But for the first five minutes, it's uh, you're not getting much there. So anybody who's uh, who's sniffing around for a four-foot light, um, if you're nowhere near a radio, if you're not worried about putting static on a radio, or if you're listening through a radio um, via Bluetooth, you, you know, or a radio app, or cable, or Wi-Fi, or you're a CD person, or any of that other stuff. You can buy the tubes cheap enough, and you can smash them into your own fixtures. Um, I did it, and I'm ending up with a bunch of interference. And I even tried grounding the, um, the metal. Uh, that didn't help. And on these guys here, I even floated the ground, and still I didn't get any static. So um, it didn't appear to be a grounding thing. It appeared, it really just appears to be a how much RF sneaks out. Um, so I think when you buy them complete, I, th I think they have to meet certain RF standards for here in the United States. If you read the little book that comes with it, it spends quite a bit of time talking all about about the RF standards um, that it it 
not only has to meet the standards on emission, but it also, should it be hit with RF from a remote source, it cannot affect the way it functions, right? It's not supposed to malfunction because it, it has some RF energy hit it. So um, once again, about 37 bucks from our friends at Sam's Club. Um, that one's $39.95 from our friends at Lowe's. Um, and I got them both this week. So this is going to move to the uh, basement because the fixture I built for the basement is bothering my radio down there. So it's driving me crazy. I have to, uh, I have to, you know, change that out. What I'm going to do is for the bulbs that make noise, so to speak, RF noise. I'm going to put them in the basement. Typically, when I'm in the basement, what I'm, I have, um, I have the. Um, cable news on or, or the financial channel on, on cable TV so uh, it doesn't bother me that much or it doesn't bother me at all if it's emitting little RF radiation you know hopefully it's not cooking me or anything alright folks I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing remember to keep your feet down keep your head up and please get out there and enjoy all your days bye now